guys, I'm Hybrid Fox Kid, and welcome back to this war of mine. In the last episode, we we went to and from the grocery store pretty often, and we saw some pretty bad stuff happening to the people there. Well, this one particular lady, and it wasn't nice to see. I was pretty devastated by the end of it, but there's nothing I could do. I was so scared that I was going to kill Zalada, but we're fine. We're surviving, and that's all that really matters, right? <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to... I'm trying to make myself feel better after what I did to her. I'm so sorry. I still don't have wood! Ah! Okay, never mind, I was excited to be able to make a work... Upgrade a workbench, but I still don't have any wood. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna mosey around for a bit. Oh, I can make lockpicks though. I need to make more lockpicks for... Oh, sorry! Sorry, Bruno, you go back to sleep. No. You can make the lockpicks. There we go. I'll make two lockpicks and then I'll go back to the grocery store to see what's in behind that door as well as in that cupboard. Maybe it couldn't be something good. Let's hope so. Because there's still a lot of stuff I can grab at the grocery store, but... Yeah, hopefully that guy doesn't come back. But I'm still going to take a shovel with me just for self-defense. Oh! Food! Yes! More food came in! Yes! Oh, that's so handy. And they can all go one more day without food. So you can pick that up as a lot of. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I feel really bad. And then I'll put more fertilizer in here. This has come in very handy from time to time. Times when I've needed it the most, it comes in handy. The one thing I haven't done, I haven't checked the radio in a while, so let's see if that has anything to say. Cigarettes and tobacco are available in Porygon once more. How, th how this exactly came about remains a mystery. Theories include smugglers, corrupt military officials, and foreign aid. Ooh. Well... At least we have cigarettes now. Well, luckily cigarettes have never been a problem. But, ah, uh, we'll be fine. Okay, I think I'm going to end the day here and go scavenging once more. So i got to keep the ladder on guard and Bruno's still, in, still asleep because he's still sick. And then Parv can go scavenge. And I'm going to go back to the supermarket. Oh, it... Ooh, a huge amount of weapon. Also, oh, it gets rid of the thing that I've already scavenged. <gasps> That's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, that's cool. Okay, let's go back to the supermarket. Hopefully I can get my hands on something good if there's a, a huge amount of weapon. And there's no danger, so the danger's clearly gone. So, that seems cool. So, I'll prepare to scavenge. I'll take the two lockpicks with me. And I don't think I needed any shovel. I don't think I needed anything to dig. Mm, you know what? It never hurts. So let's go with that. Oh, the lady's still here. Hello, lady. Even though it doesn't say danger. Nah. I'm going to be a little bit risky. I just want to double check, make sure that guy's not there. Okay, let's go down here. Wee. Okay, what's in this one? Give me something good. Maybe a gun? I won't say no to a gun. I haven't had one this entire playthrough. Whoa! 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 Ooh! Yoink! Thank you, thank you. And what's in here? Okay, I shall pick that one. Hope that gunshot wasn't coming for me. I'll hopefully be fine. Okay, double check. We're fine, let's go. Then I can check what's in here. Does that mean I can dual wield a pistol and a shovel? That looks amazing. Okay, what's in here? Anything? Anything at all. Ooh, what's in the barrel? Ooh, I gotta leave some things behind. So that's just... You know what, I'll leave one broken guitar behind because I only need one. And I'll take the water with me. What's in here? That as well. Oh, that's a lot of cool stuff. Okay, so we have the guitar down there. Let's do a sweep of the area. Problem is, is I don't actually know how to shoot. So... 
that's gonna be interesting. Okay, let's go back to scavenging. Enough of you being a secret agent, Parv. Okay, nothing in the lower area. Okay, so I think we're good. I didn't bring a, I didn't bring like lots of stuff, but I've brought a lot of different stuff. So hopefully that should be fine. Okay, you know what? I think I am going to. Oh, hi. I think I'm gonna leave, and I've got myself a gun. Finally, that took long enough. <laughs> Parv is back, yay! And he's alive. Thank God. Day twenty. Please don't say we've been raided. Bruno's still sick. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh, none of us were wounded. Whew. Thank God. Okay. So. Let's get Bruno to cook up some food for everyone. Maybe that might make him feel a bit better. I'll get... You can have one of the canned foods. <gasps> no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. I've got food again. Wow. That is so handy. What's with my luck? Why is my luck suddenly getting good? Okay, let's make... Let's burn some wood. Oh, Bruno's better. Oh, thank God. He's not sick anymore. That's good. Oh, Parv, you can go straight to bed. Go to sleep. And you go to sleep as well. Zalada. I might leave that trap not not going for a bit because I don't know if normal food spoils. So I'm just going to leave it just for a bit. Maybe a day. Uh, now Bruno can cook some double meals. Yeah, make one of them. I need veggies. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Sorry, Zalada. You literally just went to bed, but I need you to wake up. <laughs> okay, Bruno can have one meal. That means we might be able to trade for some things. That's good. Okay, a little bit faster, please, Zalada. Hello. Can we trade? Yes. So I've got this trade idea of a bunch of wood as well as some parts because I'm always needing parts. I've, n I've never come across enough parts. So I might do that. I don't know how... I don't know if that's a dumb idea or if it's a good idea. I don't know. I'm not getting rid of much. Like, there's a lot more I could get rid of for this. But I'm going to make a, that a deal. Because I really want to make that workbench. So, you got yourself a deal. Thank you, buddy. Oh, you didn't have any vegetables by chance, did you? No, he didn't have any veggies. Oh, bugger. Uh, never mind. Thanks, friend. Appreciate you. There we go. Okay, so I'll get you to eat quickly. Then you can go back to sleep. And I'll get Bruno maybe just to cook up one more without the veggies. It's a bit of a waste, but yeah, it'll work. Okay. So you can make one more. Do I need fire? No, I can make that. And then I might make a couple more bits of water. So let's finally upgrade this workbench. It's taken way too long. Ah, oh, finally. Progress. Okay, let's make that. And I can probably save up for the neck the other workbench to be made up as well. Cause pretty much it's all all I've been waiting for are the parts, and I've finally got enough parts. And if I can go out and scavenge for more wooden components, I should be able to make that soon enough. I am liking how we're going. We're doing pretty well. But I don't want to say that too early because I know how quickly this can all fall apart. Oh yes. <gasps> I can make guns! Oh, you need a broken version of the gun. I've already got guns. I don't know why I'm so excited. <laughs> Ooh, I can make a hatchet. Now, here's the question. No. Like, things like couches in, like, the, the squat and stuff like that, that are in the background. That I can't cut that, can I? I don't know. Ooh, sounds interesting. But I'm going to make a saw blade quickly, because that's what I've been needing for so long. And then I might also save up for a helmet, because I have the helmet... Oh, it's six degrees outside. Oh, boy. Um, Pa, can you light the fire? And then you can go eat. Okay. Everyone's looking good. Everyone is happy. Um, uh, oh, not except for Pa. Pa, you're okay. You got this. Let's end the day and hopefully go back to the squat because we now have a saw blade, which is going to be good fun. You know what? I said I was going to go there. 
Let's go there first and then go back to other places that look interesting. So I'll take the saw with me and I think... Wait, no. No, I don't want to take Bruno with me. Oh, that was nearly bad. You scavenge, you guard, and you can sleep in bed. Yeah. You know what? I'll let Parv sleep and you can guard. Oh no, you can scavenge. Um, just hopefully so he's not sad anymore. So yeah, let's go back to the squat. Uh, take the saw blade with us. And let's see what's in those bars. Could be something interesting. Yeah, and I think I might go to the... Back to the hotel for my next scavenge. Yeah, okay. Up we go. Oh, make all the noise you can. And there's no one here that should be able to harm us, so we should be fine. Okay, let's unlock this. Hopefully there's something good in here. Oh, that sounded funky. Ugh. Okay, what have we got in here? Whoa, that was a one one use item. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty lame. Eh, nothing interesting so far. Come on, you got to give me something better than this. What's in here? Hello. Anything useful? Really? Is that all that was there? Wow, that wasn't really worth it, was it? God, we've nearly fully scavenged three separate areas now. Damn. Okay, I think that's everything from the area. That was a pretty crummy hole. Ugh. That was not worth it. Let's head out. Let's run to the exit. And yeah. So that's one more area fully explored and fully done. Oh, no, there was, a mm, there was something up there. God dang it. Never mind. Disregard my hasty exit. Day 21. Oh, how much longer. I'm surviving, but barely. You did good. Don't worry, Salada. You did well. Yay! The night was calm. Woohoo! So you go to sleep. How do I fix the guitar? Questions, questions. Oh, I can fix it. You know what? It's not just about surviving. We need to thrive as well. So let's make a guitar. Can I pop it somewhere that's more centralized so you're not off in a corner playing the guitar? That'd be a nice place to put it. Hopefully that will make people happy. And Zalada knows how to play it, so Parv might enjoy it. Let's hope. Ooh. Oh yeah, I should heat. Sorry, I've just been sitting here listening to it. That was really lovely. Oh, I don't know why, but it makes everything, it's like soothing, but still really sad. I don't know. Ah, I don't know. I'm just an emotional person on a good day. It is a good day, Pav. You're doing well. Let's see if the radi radio has anything, and then let's also chuck some food into the trap. See if we can get anything else. Day 21. Some of our listeners report that the military is committing acts of violence towards civilians. The spokesman for the military denies. Well, we saw it. We saw it happen. Don't think anyone's going to come for today. It's looking a little bit late. So I might end the day and go for another scavenge with Parv. Places have opened up again. <gasps> yes! What? They've opened up again. Hell 
yeah. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm pretty sure the semi-detached house, when I went there last, I got attacked and got brutally, brutally attacked. I could have gone underground and sawn through the bottom and then gone to the, like, the broken part of the house that way. Like, completely go underground. So I didn't have to cross part that course, courtyard area. Back then I didn't have a saw blade. Now I do. Not anymore, because it broke, but I have one. I can make one. So I might go back there after, but one place I want to go to now is maybe... Maybe the hotel, because it's a caution advised, and it's got a lot of food and weapon. So I'll prepare with Parv. I'll go with a gun, take some ammo with me. Yeah, I don't know how to use it, but I can hope for the best. Yeah, let's scavenge with that. And hopefully find something good. Hopefully I don't have to use the gun, but that's going to be a last resort. So when I picked the hotel, I didn't actually realise that I had already been there. So I pretty much wasted a scavenge day, so I'm just going to skip past this whole section. Uh-oh. <gasps> Someone tried to rob us. It was it was quite a tough group, but we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we, we were all armed. Oh, I thought it said they were all armed and I started to freak. Bruno was wounded by the attackers, but they didn't steal anything. We should put more people on guard. I'm so sorry, Bruno. Are you okay? Um, uh, let's patch you up with a bandage. And... Do I need to eat? No, everyone's fine except for Bruno. I'll get him to eat canned food. And then Parv can go to sleep. You go sleep, Parv. And then you can go to sleep as well. Oh! Hello? It's me again. Let's talk. Okay. You go up there, the ladder. See what the guy has. That's the guy who wanted us to check out the house, right? It's me again. Got a minute? Yeah, sure thing. What's the matter? Perhaps you'll help me again. It's me again. Last time went quite well, so I thought you might want to help me again. I know of a rich family who managed to stock up on supplies before the war, but they selfishly didn't share with any. any. Oof. Maybe we should pay them a visit. Mm, you know what? I'll go. I'll send the ladder. And hopefully she'll be fine. Let's teach them a lesson. Why do I suddenly feel like I've done something bad? Mm, if the ladder's fine, if she comes back fine... I'll make it that I don't help that guy out again because it looks like he's just trying to get us to do his dirty work with him. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. <laughs> Whew. This game makes you think of some moral things and it's like, ah, uh, I don't know how to take this. <laughs> Anything new on the radio? Having suffered heavy losses, the military retreated to their previous position and resumed the strategy of avoiding direct confrontation. Movement around the city should be once again possible. Ooh. There's really nothing I can wait for or nothing I can do. Um, a person's already come to the door, so I don't think there's going to be anyone else coming. So let's end the day. Let's go scavenging again. You can go on guard. You can scavenge. I might go to the hospital. The hospital might be a good place. Yeah, let's go there. Take the shovel with me so that can be my weapon. I'll leave the gun at home for Bruno to use. And yeah, let's go with that. We should be fine. And since Bruno's wounded, it might be better for him to have the gun. I don't know if that equals like him having a gun compared to a knife. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Ooh, there is military people out there. Hello? Hopefully you're not hostile. Hello? Fair enough, I won't do anything suspicious. Yet, yeah, neither do I. I'm just scavenging. Just having a good time, don't mind me. Okay, so there's people upstairs. Nothing here worth taking. Oh, come on, give me something good. Okay, so that's the stealing icon. Okay. Are these people friendly as long as I'm not stealing I hope so because I don't plan on stealing anything I just want some things oh hello how you doing what's this button do 
Oh, you're a medic. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay, I won't go behind the, I won't go behind the counter. But I don't know if that's going to be bad, so let's just look around for a bit. Oh, so the hospital is interesting. Okay, he doesn't seem to be phased that I'm going through this specific area. Because there was nothing there. Never mind, disregard that statement of hope. Okay, we're not doing half bad. We've got a couple bits. Not that any of it's remotely useful, but uh, that's good enough. But I think with that, I think I'm going to call that search done. And yeah, just head out of here. So let's run to the exit. Goodbye! <laughs> Don't mind me. Having a good time. Goodbye! Now we're fine. There we go. I'm back. That was a bit of a bust. But, yeah. Well, at least I checked out the area. That's mainly why I wanted to go, because I've never been there before. So I can get a kind of a gauge of what's in there and what I can take from there. But it requires a lot of people. Getting by a lot of people. So I don't want to do that. A uh, quiet night. Ah, quiet night. Ooh! Delilah brought some good from the rich family's house the neighbour spoke of. Ooh, that's good actually. That's really good. I still need... I still need stuff to burn though. I don't have any wood or compartments. Components, I mean. I can make two bits of... Yeah. Two bits of fuel. I can cook up some food for everyone else and then get the fire on. Because that'd be handy. And then I also... I hope I have enough stuff to make another saw blade. Because I might go to the detached apartments next scavenge and do go underground. And see if that's a way to get around because that would be really handy. I need two components. Can we- oh. You say it and then they arrive. You're an absolute legend, man. <laughs> I love you. I was just going to say, can we please have someone at the door? And he comes. I appreciate you. Okay, that's great. Perfect. So I at least need one component. Yes, I am here to make a deal. How are we doing? Um, I think I should be fine with that. I really want components and I really want part and I really want wood. So I might go with that. And yeah, we should be fine with that. So let's make a deal. Thank you, friend. That was handy dandy. Ah, oh, you can go now. There we go, thank you. And then let's quickly go make that saw blade. I can also... You know what, I'm going into a dangerous place so I'd rather bring it with me. I don't want to get hurt. So I'll make the helmet as well. Now, how does the helmet work? Okay, does that mean if I take it with me I've auto-equipped it? I'm not sure. Let's call it for the day. Let's go out and do some scavenging. So you can sleep in the bed. You can guard, and I'll get you to scavenge. No, yeah. So I'll go to this part. I'll prepare to go out. So you have the saw blade, the shovel, and the helmet. There we go. I think that means they're equipped it, so we should be fine with that. So that's for digging and defense, and that's for cutting through the thing. We should be fine, hopefully. So let's go scavenging and let's bring home something good, hopefully. Hopefully a bunch of parts, because I'm fine with food at the moment. I just want to start making stuff again. So hopefully I can go down here and just mosey around and not bring any attention to myself. Okay, the item's broken. There's someone in there. Ooh, let's go see what they... Ooh. Take all that thing. Thank you. Can I get up here? Are these any people... Are these bad people? I hope not. Oh, they're rats. Okay. Okay, hopefully they're just rats. So I should be fine. Yeah, they're all rats. Okay, let's do a little bit of scavenging and just keep an eye out. 
God, I hate how they add rats to it. It just put put you on edge so badly. What's down here? Anything interesting? Anything good? Oh, thank you. I'll grab that. There is a fridge over here, so that could be. Ah, oh, I need to be able to get. I need to get another sword to be able to go through that. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we're doing a we're doing really well. I'm just scared of going up there. And them having Oh. Okay, they haven't noticed me. <gasps> okay, let's get out of here. I don't know if this guy I don't think so, because it doesn't count as stealing. Let's just be cautionary. And... Okay, this guy doesn't seem to be bad. Okay, hopefully he's fine. Hello. Does he have a gun? No, let's see. Hello? Oh, hello friend. <laughs> Look out for the crazy bitches in the second building. <laughs> okay, thank you for the heads up, friend. Okay, you don't seem to be hostile. Appreciate ya. Ooh, there's a lot of good stuff here. Ooh, what's this say? The crude letters on the wall read, Hannah, Thomas and me moved in with Uncle Radu. We buried Mum in the yard. Take care of Daddy, Petra. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, let's go up here. Got a little bit of time to kill, so let's just get as much stuff as we can. Jump down here again. I think we just gotta leave at this point. Yeah. Everything we got, and I gotta make another saw blade to get into this fridge, so I might come back to this area with another saw blade. So there's some interesting looking stuff in there. Okay, let's go back through here. That guy is still just ready to shoot. Oh, please don't say that's someone there. Hopefully that's a rat as well. Otherwise, it's going to be another situation where I just got to book it. Oh. Get out. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Run, 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 run. Okay. They weren't fast with me being there. I just got straight out of there as soon as I saw that guy pointed the gun. I'm like, okay. I'm not risking it again. Okay. No damage. Nothing. Looking good. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that hole. Day 24. We're looking good. Yes, it did have a very good hole. You did well. Very well. Yay, no raiding. Woo, that's good. Perfect. So with that, I might leave that episode here. We're doing very well. We're doing... Oh, it's two degrees outside. Brr. Oh no, okay. I'm definitely going to get some firewood. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We are doing a really, really well, considering the situation we are in like a, about an episode ago. I'm kind of happy with how we're doing, and essentially this still being my first place where I'm still kind of flying by the, by the seat of my pants. So we should be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys liked the video, give the video a thumbs up, and maybe subscribe if you want to stick around. All good, I'll see you guys next time. See ya!